I'm Sydney. I'm a PM on the PowerShell team, and I'm here with Steven, who's also a PM on the PowerShell team. And we're so excited to be here at Ignite in Seattle this year. Yeah, and we're super excited to announce that we have just released the general availability of PowerShell 7.4 today. Yeah, that's right. 7.4, um, a new LTS, or long-term servicing release of PowerShell, is now available to you. And in this release, there's, as always, a number of performance, security, and stability improvements. Um, but we really want to highlight for you two modules that have major improvements in this release that you should definitely check out. Yeah, so the first one is a PS Read Line. And PS Read Line handles a lot of the re-rendering and kind of the interactive experience of when you're interacting with the PowerShell shell. And so we've done a whole lot of stability bug improvements for PS Read Line, as well as some improvements to the predictive IntelliSense feature of PS Read Line, which enables kind of a predictive uh, way for you to auto-complete the commands that you're typing from history, as well as a bunch of plug-in predictors. Um, we've increased the uh, availability for uh, the results in, predict in list view, as well as um, added a lot more detail so you can actually know what you are getting predicted, so you can learn a little bit more about what actually is being predicted if it's something that you've never really typed before. Um, so we call that as kind of the tool tip and some of the improvements to the list view of the PS Reline predictive IntelliSense. So what's the other one, Tiddy? Yeah, so we also include in this release PS Resource Get, which is a new module to PowerShell. This module um, is a new package manager for PowerShell and can be seen as a replacement for PowerShell Get, the module that you've probably used in the past to do things like install, update, and find modules from the PowerShell gallery. Now, a few exciting things to highlight about PS Resource Get. First, it's compatible with a whole lot more private repositories than PowerShell Get was. Um, it'll still work with maybe your Artifactory or Azure DevOps feed that you were using before, um, but now you can use it with NuGet v3 feeds, and there's a credential persistence feature. So you can provide your credentials at registration time and just keep authenticating into the repo. This module also has major performance improvements over um, PowerShell Get, so definitely be sure to check it out. I'll also say when it comes to the PS Read Live improvements, um, the history predictor is built in, and once I started using it, I quite literally could not go back. Like I started typing in the shell and I didn't know what I was doing anymore. Yep, yep, and they, we've, there's so many more improvements. This is just a tip of the iceberg of the kind of improvements that we put in 274. We have a really, really hardworking engineering team that really works hard to bring the best kind of PowerShell experience, the most stable and most secure PowerShell that we can bring to you. Um, and so you can check out a full list of the changes in a link provided. And um, we'll yeah. We'll be sure to include lots of links from this video in the show notes, um, but also be sure to check out um, Microsoft Dev Blogs, um, specifically the PowerShell site. We yep. always post new releases there. Um, and from there, you can get linked to all of our repos where we engage with you in the open source community. Yeah, and so it's definitely encouraged to check out all of our repos that we have. We have separate repos for these different modules as, a, as, a, as well, of course, as PowerShell itself is open source. And we highly encourage folks to submit PRs, submit issues. We look at it all the time and try to keep up to date and uh, really try to make PowerShell uh, you know, a community-driven thing. It's really amazing. Absolutely. It's been so amazing connecting with so many of you here this week. But if you were able to join us this year in person, don't forget to check out all of the amazing recorded sessions on the Ignite site. Um, and we hope to catch you next year. Yep. Thank you so much for watching. And be sure to look out for more videos and content coming from Ignite on, on the, the ground. ground. <laughs> How's that? <laughs>